everybody, it's Chris, and today's project is this uh, little tiny RGB. Uh, this is just a uh, what is this? Thermaltake uh, V300 Black Knight case with a bunch of junk, uh, 400 watt power supply. I have it on with the fan blowing upwards because it helps cool my video card. Um, it's a bottom feed. Anyway, I know you've seen an IDE cable and you're like, what in the heck? This is an old Asus motherboard. Uh, I don't even know what model it is. Looks like P4SD something covered up. Powered by Asus. Uh, it has a bottom header. I don't know where it came from. It looks like it's an older Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz IDE system because why? I wanted to run Amiga OS on modern hardware. So we're doing the AROS desktop. It's the Icarus desktop um, for AROS, which is Amiga replacement operating system. It allows the Amiga OS from the early 90s, 94, to run on sort of modern Intel hardware and I had this old motherboard sitting around that's just collecting dust I'm like I wonder if that thing still works so Max and I here <laughs> are uh, configuring this thing and we're going to see if it works and so far so good there's my 64 inch 65 inch uh, Macintosh monitor actually it's the TV hooked up HDMI um, so we're gonna try and get this installed now what I also bought was an IDE to compact flash adapter now if this board has serial ATA on it it looks like it's got two connections um, but I can't get this thing to recognize it so I had to find an old hard drive I found a 160 gig in my pile but I was gonna try this I know this is only 128 megabytes Woohoo! I got this from an old camera I know Walmart still sells these flash cards I only need like a four gigger the Amiga OS ran on like a couple megs with everything I think 100 meg is about overkill so this machine has two gigs of memory I think it's DDR2 400 this is a probably a 2006 era motherboard um, based on the bio state so we're gonna get this installed and see how it's done so so far I've just booted off of a DVD the screen went blank and yelled about a 1280 by 1024 resolution for about two minutes and then I finally got to this screen excuse me Max excuse me hello hi kitty well, let, me, uh, let me interrupt you here Check out this old keyboard. This is an old compact, yes, before HP. Hey, lazy butt. Compact before HP uh, server keyboard with the trackball mouse, but it works. It's PS2, and uh, it seems to help. So what we're gonna do here is, I don't have a tripod. So this is gonna be handheld. Hope I don't shake too much. Install AROS. Oh, look, it does detect the hard drive. Proceed. We're gonna wipe the disc. Oh, it does do SATA. Son of a turd. Well, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Proceed. We must reboot AROS and rerun the installer application. So we're gonna reboot. This had an old, uh, looks like a thermal take fan on it. I don't know. Welcome to Grub. It's got a Linux loader. Okay, we're going to do Icarus Desktop. And bloop, screen goes black. It'll yell about a resolution. But it's still doing something. And I got to figure out the lighting on here. I bumped one of the wires off. This looks like a, a three pin power LED. I think I have everything in backwards. The reset and power work, but. I don't have any hard drive activity, which I think is this one. So I have to move this uh, over one pin 
and possibly just put it in a double because a lot of times these power switches are on a three pin and they don't have the center but my motherboard here is a double pin so I have to move it closer and so as we wait for this thing to boot so we're going to see if we can get this thing to load oh, directory opus I haven't seen that in so many years I hated directory opus I was more of a dir work guy if you're an Amiga fan you know what DW is or directory works it was like an opus type but very light no it loaded in seconds I'm going to put it on this one I have my Amiga stuff downstairs I will get it back on so we're going to rerun the install Eros at least get this thing loading off a hard drive because loading off CDs sucks okay proceed proceed choose language options nope uh, okay just stick into the default proceed grubs bootlock should be installed okay whatever proceed formatting DH0 All right, it finally finished. It took about another 20 minutes. Um, it's not 1.15, this clock's not set. So it says remove the disc. I'm removing the disc. Okay, we're gonna click proceed. And we're gonna just gonna press the reset button. Got my hard drive LED fixed. Okay, I'm just gonna do nothing. Auto for Icarus. Uh, this is the first time you've run Icarus desktop after installation. Would you like to configure it now? Yes. Uh, United States. Okay. Um, American. Fine. Whoa! Look at all these resolutions. NVIDIA 1280 by 1024, 24-bit. Let's test it. Okay, save. Uh, AC97, good to detect the sound card. Okay. Windows style. I like the classic windows. Save. Oh, I hate the old intuition. Networking, uh, Anna Bridge, Boot Sound, uh, whatever, save, retry, 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 intuition, you turd. Okay, so I'm just going to restart it. Whoops. reboot we're gonna see what rolls there we go that looks much better I do not like this backdrop but looks like we have some uh, stuff I don't know I know that's other world browser mouse over most of these things and see what it's doing I don't directory opus oh wow look at that I haven't seen this in years I hated this program eh, they didn't reassign the RAM okay well that's fine we're gonna quit directory opus uh, Two gigs free. It doesn't do the chip mem fast mem anymore because it's a, uh, you know, screen modes, ADFs, Amiga Forever. This is the Eros Live. I don't know what this stuff does because my workbench was HD zero and 
So remember, this is not Amiga OS. This is AROS, which is an Amiga replacement OS, but it's pretty close. So we're going to take a wander and see what does what. I don't know. But anyway, guys, you can have a modern Amiga type computer on an actual on a Windows PC in 2018 and that would be it but even for an old 160 gig IDE hard drive it does boot really well anyway my camera's pooping out guys so thanks a lot for watching this is the uh, Aeros Icarus Live Amiga OS for PCs or Amigas you can install this on a modern or, or an Amiga a classic Amiga I might try that on my 2000 thanks for watching have a great one.